All right, so I got here yesterday, set up the dining tent. Unfortunately, whoever sent it back to Amazon uh, packed it inside out. There's a wee hole in the ceiling, but it does good for shade. Uh, right now I got the generator running to recharge the battery I was using last night with the inverter. Uh, I was using it for the laptop and it seemed to work pretty well. I hooked up the the uh, solar controller to it so I can monitor the voltage, but don't really need to, I guess. Just let it charge for a couple hours, like an hour or something. Learned something interesting with the generator. You do have to turn it on if you want it to start. Duh. Anyways, have the solar panels hooked up, but not hooked up to the controller right now. They were in full sunlight last night. Um, not do it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the one connector I need to hook up my lithium ion uh, battery pack to uh, an inverter or anything or the generator. I found the one to plug it into a cigarette lighter. I found the one to plug it into a solar panel of a type I don't have, but nothing to actually plug it in. That adapter's at home, apparently. Anyways, I have the uh, I have all the bins taken out of the bus because I'm gonna sort through them and put, put all everything away in an orderly fashion. Um, have not yet lit the fire. I was going to do it last night and I decided not to. I have a bunch of firewood for it. Um, see, the storage area underneath the bed is pretty much empty right now. Um, so I got a few more things to clean up in here, but I want to basically put all the food stuff in one bin, the cooking stuff in another, and, uh, you know personal effect stuff in another and I can shove them all underneath uh, the bed and the generator goes in that hole over there which is currently full of stuff but anyway you can see I got an actual battery charger although there's not a whole lot of point right now if I'm actually using the generator to do it and a bunch of stuff I got at Bass Pro Shops some crackers and my cigars, like, there's just stuff everywhere. I got two new bins here. Uh, because that one over there is busted to pieces. So, it needs to go. And I got my dishes and the Tetra Pak milk stuff out. Got the little, little cooler out here. And the big cooler, the, the blue cooler in the back has meat in it. The white cooler is empty right now. So... Should be good for the moment. Did dishes. Um, yeah, so I'm trying out the. Uh, should I leave? Yeah, I left them in the Trying out the. The uh, instant coffee stuff. It's all Korean. Uh, I bought it at H Mart. Bought two of them. Bought that one and. I don't even know where the other one is right now. All the more reason to clean up, I guess. Um, somewhere else in here, there's another one. The white box. Oh, it's underneath all that stuff. Anyway. Um, it's actually pretty good. I also have the percolator over there from last night. I Right now, I got just got the kettle on on the stove. It's off, but I got a kettle on the stove. And the percolator is in over by the batteries underneath the tent. So, uh, it's still half full from last night. So, yeah. Camping is good. I like camping. So, but yeah. Just need to charge that battery back up. And I'm an idiot and I hit the back button by mistake. Anyways, this is all for the moment. Actually, I'm back. It's going to be pretty loud in here, but it's on eco mode. So, there's at least a chance you can hear me. Anyway, I have it hooked up. Massive cables. Got the the um, inverter hooked up I've got and then on the posts I put the generator and the controller solar controller because it showed me the battery level so eh 
Oh yeah, there's there's a cup of that uh, instant coffee stuff. Already has already has milk and sugar in it, which is not how I normally drink my coffee. So anyway, okay, enough making noise. This saying it's around 13, 13.1 volts with the generator off, so I think that battery's charged enough for now. Um, it's so much quieter without it. Well, now now you can hear the. The kids running around in the, in the campground. Much better. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna just disconnect uh, some connections here, so I don't, I don't like trip over something. Actually, why don't I do it with the video still on? Why not? Okay. Disconnect the controller. Disconnect the generator. And since I'm sitting right here anyway, let's see what the, says the charge level is on my other battery. I'll have to pull up this plastic cover again. Twelve and a half. That sat for two weeks, theoretically fully charged. And I'll run the generator again later. I don't feel like running it again right now. But I probably should charge this one up too. A little bit more level. Yeah, there's the percolator down there. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna veg for a bit. And I have not supposed to be coming over this evening and this afternoon. So we shall see. So I'm trying to use my cast iron Dutch oven for the first time to make chili. And it doesn't didn't seem to be heating up enough. Um, browned the ground beef, and it took a while because it was partially frozen. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be at. I mean, it's hot. It's it's noticeably hot above it. So, but it doesn't seem to be hot enough. So I'm um, lighting up some more charcoal in the charcoal lighter, and chimney thingy, and I'm gonna dump that. Move the crock. Yeah, move the Dutch oven over, dump a whole pile more, and put it back into into the heat. And maybe I can actually get a little bit more heat into it. But I mean, right now it's not not really doing what I want. So, um, and I found out the yeah implement I got to lift the lid doesn't work with this particular brand because it's a Cabela El Cheapo rather than a than a lodge but I can still use it for this for moving things around but it won't fit it won't fit underneath the underneath there so I've been using my my barbecue tongs which are hanging right there to pick it pick up the lid when I need to move the lid been a little bit annoying but eh. hmm maybe I didn't let it burn long enough and that's why I don't know so I've dumped in the rest of my easy light stuff in about half a bag or so of the El Cheapo stuff Kroger El Cheapo brand <laughs> um, yeah but it still doesn't want to work I have actual charcoal as well but I wanted kind of you want to use the briquettes they're a little bit easier to deal with generally speaking but this does seem to want to work so lighting anyways so let this die down just a little bit more and then then dump her out 
that looks, well, looks unburned. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't get enough heat. Maybe I didn't leave it long enough in the in there. So maybe I'll just leave this one in a little bit longer and let it burn a bit more. It's all an adventure. But the bus is doing awesome. It really needs to be painted. And I really need to get those lights off there. But you know, I'll get there. And the bin on the left needs to go in the trash. It's already broken. So, but we shall see. But at least if I want to restart this thing, I have still have another paper bag over there. Um, that I've, <laughs> it's what I let the other ones these last two times with. Ripped up one of the Cabela bags and crumpled up and lit it. Works pretty well, actually. Especially with the easy light stuff, but non-easy light is a little bit harder to light. And the charcoal itself will be a lot harder to light. The fire sticks that I have, which are really, really old, didn't seem to want to light with, with um, the barbecue lighter. So, I don't know, maybe they're just junk. Or old Duraflame ones. Whoops, almost dropped the phone. Um, let's see. Now watch it light now, just make a liar out of me. Oh, look. It actually lit. Barely. Now it wants to light. Of course. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'll just let that burn. I don't really care. I have four packs of four of those, so I really don't care about that one. But now, yeah, now it wants light. Great. Yeah. Well, you can see the charcoal is nice bright orange. Most of it is, anyway. Well, maybe it's time to dump it out. Alright, let me do that. Come back to this. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Threw some sparks at me. All right, let me do this. Use both hands. Yeah, it definitely has more heat now. So, I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes. I put out the, I threw the stick down in the bottom, put it out. Um, but anyway, I put most of the charcoal in a pile and then uh, put a few pieces on the top. Um, but most of it's underneath. Um, Dutch oven at this point, so I should be getting a bit of heat in there now. Um, just move the lighter over. <laughs> Put a lid and let's see how it's doing. Ooh, I hear bubbling. Much more like it. Oh, sorry. Finger. Okay. This step I'm supposed to be sauteing these until the veggies are soft. Oh, that's much, much better. Now I actually have some heat. Onions. They said red peppers. I grabbed green peppers. They're all the same. This is not going to be colorful. And celery and tomato paste so far. Oh, and salt and pepper on the ground beef. Oh, this is much, much better. Few more minutes. The lid on. Yep, bubbling. Handy, they gave me a rack to put my tongs on. 
I'm sure that's not what it was designed for, but as long as it works, I don't care. Next step is to put in some spices. I can actually hear it cooking. Yay. Yeah, it looks like I didn't do a good enough job with the charcoal the first time around. Eh, gotta learn somehow, right? I have cooked this way before, but it was over open fire type of coals, not not briquettes, so I really didn't feel like cooking, uh, lighting the fire. Even though I have the firewood, I just didn't feel like doing it. Yeah, the next step is, um, yeah, add in the chill, the spices. We're having a bag down there that I brought from home with all the spices in it. And then that, they say to cook for 60 to 90 seconds. Anyway, and then I put in some beef broth, Kidney beans, diced tomatoes, and green chilies. I didn't get any green chilies, which is fine. And then cook with the lid on for 60 minutes. Now it actually has enough heat that I should be able to finish that. Anyway, I think I'm going to start adding spices in a second here. I don't care if the, the veggies are completely soft or not. It's going to be cooking for another 60 minutes anyway. Anyway. Here we go. Okay, there it is with spices added. Bubbling along nicely. Now it wants beef broth, kidney beans, diced tomatoes, and green chilies. So let's put in the diced tomatoes. <clears throat> They're far away. Alright. And... They say to rinse the beans. I drained them. This is for me. I think I'll be fine with it. So. There's one can. And my finger is in front of it again. I'll put the can down. I can't fix that. Here we go. There's two cans of beans. Now it wants a cup of beef broth. So, oh, let me shake first. So, okay, I can't do this with the camera on. Hold on a sec. Got the beef broth in. Now, I'm going to stir. And I'm going to put the lid back on. Chili. Yeah, it just needs to cook for a while. Yeah. After it cooks for an hour, they want half a cup of crushed tortilla chips to let it thicken. I've never done before, but it's, you know, follow the recipe at a bit of a distance, but follow the recipe. And I've already changed, they said to put in um, beef, two pounds of uh, beef chuck roast cubed, 
and said I used three pounds, because that's what I had, of of uh, ground beef. So it's pretty much the same meat, but not cubed. So I mean, I'll let this sit for an hour or so while I clean up and everything else, and then come back and uh, oh, and crush some uh, tortillas, and we can come back and uh, do the last part. All right, it's been around half an hour, I think. So I can do this without covering the lens too badly. <clears throat> oh, it's smelling like chili, that's for sure. Okay, hold on. Here. That is definitely being very chilly like. It can be a fairly mild chili by my normal standards, but that's okay. Definitely smells good. Let's put the lid back on her. Another half an hour of cooking about. Meanwhile, I was over sorting bins. Um, the one far and there is is the trash one. It's got trash in it now. Um, but basically the one in the front here, it's gonna have my cooking gear, like the frying pan and this cast iron once it's cold. I'm not gonna try putting it in today, that's for sure. Um, behind that I have one that's got food stuff in it. Uh, that one over there is personal items and like my my humidors and stuff like that. And then I've got two small ones over there. The the one in the front is gonna be like power cables and the and the propane hoses and stuff like that. And the other one has things like the um the spatula that goes with this. I don't know if the if these tongs will fit in there or not. I don't think they will. They're probably gonna have to go in here. Anyway, whatever. And, you know, other miscellaneous small items. That's how it's sorted for now. We'll see. I might need to rethink it. But I got a lot of stuff still in bus that needs to get sorted into piles. So I got something to do while, a, while my food cooks and well, while it gets dark. So I'm going to light the, the um, kerosene lantern pretty soon too. A little more organized. I took more of the trash out and put it in the trash bin. Oh, well that was brilliant. I guess I have to crush some more uh, tortillas, don't I? Well, that was lovely. Thankfully it's easy to do, so. <laughs> Move my kerosene lantern over. I was gonna say, I'm getting ready to put the put the uh, tortilla pieces in, and I promptly dropped it on the floor. So let's do it again, shall we? I'm not even gonna bother measuring half a cup. I had almost a cup there last time, anyways. Kind of weird using doing this on camera because I can't see what I'm doing other than through the camera and it's delayed by you know a short period of time and it keeps going out of focus. <laughs> Who wants to focus on my hand instead of on what I want to focus on underneath? So it's just kind of weird. Anyway. They want fine, cr crushed finely. Not sure how finely I'm going to crush this, but. Don't need the 
lantern yet, but I will too soon. Heck, the solar panel is still blue. It's still saying it's picking up light. Wow. I don't have it plugged into anything right now because they weren't doing very much for me yesterday anyways, and I just haven't put them away. That's probably next on the list after finishing the, the chili. Let's actually put those back in the box and start getting ready to put them back in the in the bus. They certainly have to go in before all these bins do anyway. So I have to figure out where to put everything in the meantime. I wish I had a uh, mortar and pestle with me, but I don't. So we'll have to use the cab camping equivalent. Bowl and mug. Alright, well. Let me see how fine are these. Good enough, I hope. That's what I'm going to use. <clears throat> this time, let's see if I can not drop them. What a mess. Alright, let's put them right there. Yeah, that works. That'll give me enough space to do this. I have never done this before, cooked in tortillas. But that's what they say they want me to do, so let me try it. Makes sense though to put in something to help it thicken. So they want me to cook for 10 minutes with the, the lid off to help this thicken. So, lid is off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was brilliant. Blowing into a bowl. Hmm. Oh yes, physics says it's gonna blow it straight back in your face. Oops. Sorry, on this campsite we obey the laws of physics. <laughs> Set that aside. Nice little stupid finger. Stupid finger. There we go. Got the I am not left handed. There we go. Now I have a a way to get that out and a spoon. I'll give it a few minutes. Sit and bubble. And I shall have some fireside chili. Oh, they also say eat it with sour cream. <laughs> We have sour cream. Uh, which I need to open, so I need both hands. Okay, this one was already opened. That's what I thought, but we better be sure. So there's a on the new ones. There's a piece of foil or whatever over the inside. So I can go there and that stir stir a little bit more. Now, I do have a slight problem here. This is a lot of chili. 
And I have enough to bring home three uh, uh, storage containers worth. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest. Maybe just leave it in this and very carefully bring this home. I don't know. It's only an hour drive. The only problem is if I do hit issues, it might fly. So if I do leave it in this, not this cool down, I'll probably put it in the right-hand passenger foot well so it has nowhere to go. Um, I don't know. We'll see what's left. Maybe there won't be enough. But I'm not hungry enough to eat that entire pot of chili in one sitting. I was hoping that and then that would stay a little bit longer, but, you know, he has a two and a bit hour drive back home, so he's already gone. He was here and he left. But, and while he was here, his trailer hit showed up. So, it's too bad it wasn't a day earlier he could have actually gone camping, but, oh well, such is life. Works out fine for the people next to me because they got his, his camp spot. They... He um, transferred the registration to them, the reservation rather. So, so they got camp out of this, and uh, well, meanwhile, that's life. I'm glad I have that uh, that charcoal starter thingy. It does work pretty well. So, we have chili. Now, one thing I was looking for on eBay, I haven't uh, locked one down yet because they're not exactly cheap, is there's a propane, Coleman used to make a propane-powered slow cooker. And I kind of want one. So I, you know, eventually once I have the bus fully built out, I actually want to have a slow cooker anyways. I was thinking of going electric slow cooker, but if I can get a propane one, you know, Take it, out, take it out of the cupboard, stick it out on the on the picnic table and cook. You know, that could work because it's essentially the same as this, but it's propane powered instead of you know light a fire underneath it. Um, basically, it looks just like a, a normal crock pot, but it's a Coleman. Uh, I've forgotten the brand name on it, but anyways, it's, it's propane powered. Uses the small one pound um, bottles, which I have bottles of and if I don't I also have a hose that I can hook up a 20 pound tank to whatever normally uses a, a one pound tank I have an adapter hose so you know I have options it's in the in the front bin there and I'll be putting the the rest of the generator stuff in there the, the hose and the the inverter yeah, the inverter probably fits in there. Um, we'll see. It's not very big. Eventually, the inverter is going to be actually in the bus, like bolted to something. It might not be that one, but I will have one in there. But it was—it's been very useful. I powered up my laptop off the batteries last night, and it worked great. And then I recharged it with the generator today, and you know, that was easy enough to do. So, yeah, I still have two more one-pounders sitting in the back. And I think I have another one-pounder in the front underneath a pile of stuff. Um, but, yeah, packing plan is these guys will go under under the under the bed. I mean, the personal effect one in the front, and then the food one after that, and then this one sideways at the back of the bed. In the front, I think I can fit two of them in side by side. But at the back, I can't because there's uh, the wheel well. But I can put it the other direction along the wheel well, I think. That's the general plan. Um, and the little guys, I'll figure it out. But I have lids for all of them but one. Um, because I didn't grab the lid for, for the other one. You can see there's yellow lids in there on the left-hand side. Almost matches the bus. Yuck. Anyways, um, I have two of the big lids and two of the small lids, and the other big lids are at home. Um, so I should be able to put them away. But 
on this side behind the bed, put the generator back. I'm gonna put the stove next to the generator on its side. Uh, and then behind that goes the, uh, that chimney thingy and then other miscellaneous stuff in there and just pack that corner right in. And then that corner will be good. Um, I'm gonna throw the firewood back in somewhere. Um, probably gently on top of the, the generator. We'll see. Oh yeah, and the propane tank goes beside the generator. Um, like right at the end of the bed. Like right right there. Uh, for now. Not a good permanent place to put it, but whatever. Um, and yeah, we shall see. Tomorrow's going to be fun repacking the van. But at least it's, it's somewhat organized now, so that's always good. The cardboard thingies for the solar panels I think I'm and the bubble wrap for it I think they're going in the dumpster when I get home um, right now one of them is sitting up on top of all the crap on the left and the other ones are up up along that side there and then the bubble wrap is between that and the seats over on top of the heater um, and then I'll just throw the trash bin in wherever it goes in it's, it's, as soon as I get home I'm just going to pick it up and toss it in the dumpster anyway so that's a general plan. Anyway, I think I have chili to eat. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's ready for me. All right, let me dole some out, and then we shall see. Stupid fly, get in my ear. All righty. Well, I have a bowl of chili. Let's see how it goes. It looks good. It smells good. Here's hoping. I don't think I can eat while using the phone, though. I really need to get a GoPro. Anyway, whatever. With a head mount. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, for now, be back. Okay, I grabbed a second bowl. Anyways, I'm in the back in the dining tent. It's nice in here. Um, I think I'm going to leave these in here for the night. And tidy up all that in the morning. Because that thing's a hefty bugger. I don't feel like lifting it right now. So... Um, out there I've got the, the solar to put away still. I might do that in the morning as well. It doesn't do any harm to sit out overnight. Mm. Still got to put all the rest of the chili into the containers. I think I made it a little bit, um, too strong on the cumin. But, I think that's the, <coughs> the weird, not weird, but the, different taste from what I'm used to. I think I put too much cumin in it. Oh well. It's still yummy. I'm just going to let it cool just a touch before I eat it. I didn't bring any shredded cheese, but I still have a few of the tortillas left, so eh, I'll figure out something. Anyway, water is probably a good idea to have around because it is pretty hot. I mean, I moved it off Moved the the cast iron off of the off the bed of coals, but it's still gonna be hot for a while. So I put the lid back on it too. But mm, we shall see. Anyway, ciao. Well, wouldn't you know it? All the rest fits in the three containers I brought. Awesome. So I have chili to bring home. I. Put the lid, I dumped all the coals off the lid and put the lid back on so you know, don't, no bugs or anything get into it. And I'll clean that tomorrow. And the lifter's there. I'm going to leave this here to cool. All the dishes to clean are over there. Ugh. hate cleaning dishes. Um, but yeah. Well, actually not all the dishes, there's still some in here. But yep, that's taken care of. That's awesome. So, my coffee. So yeah, this is a pretty successful, successful run for that piece of equipment. Anyway, joy of bliss. Well, got everything picked up and packed. Um, so got a little bit of fiddling to do inside the bus, but got all the bins in there. Guess you can't really see through the back, but anyway. Um, so now I'm at the point of 
no return. I mean, not a point of, of just finishing the inside. So I put the bin that's supposed to go into the bed just sitting there. Put these just sitting here. So I got a little bit of organization to do over there. And then I'm ready to go. Time to go home. Aw. Anyways, I do an update. Okay, this is really odd. And I left the campsite that said just above half a tank. And now it's saying empty. And it was 39 miles. I don't think so. Um, I think my fuel gauge stopped working. And I don't know why. Anyway, I'm just going to go fuel it up. Just to make sure. And then, I, I don't know. We'll see if it changes after I fill the tank. That is just weird. Anyway. Okay, about to go fill it up. Turn the engine off. And now it says half a tank. Turn the engine like put it back into ignition on. It goes back to empty. Yep, I think I have a grounding problem. Anyway, let's get some fuel in her. And now it's working. Sorry about the buzz, I just haven't turned it on yet. 